Hey guys, welcome back. Um, just like to apologise. I'm not using screen capture. I'm going straight onto my phone. Um, I'm sure you'll manage. The information is still valid. Uh, and what I'm talking about in this one is all about existing tutorials on Inkscape um, on YouTube. Most of them cover the visual aspect of creating images. I'm just going to hold down the control key and drag out a perfect circle. And what I'm going to do is create a really simple logo just to illustrate the point. Um, stroked path uh, and, and stroked uh, images look fine on the screen, but when you transfer those to your cutting software, what you might find is you're losing a lot of information. So even though it looks spot on on the screen, you're not getting that information through to your plotter. So what I'm going to show you is a, is a workaround uh, on how to properly set up the image so it works with your vinyl cutter. So here we've got a, a simple circle and we're going to add a stroke to it. I'm going to go with this purple. I'm going to hit the shift key and give it a purple stroke. Let's just make that a little bit wider. So it shows up a little better. Bit more, bit more, bit more. That's it. Okay, so this is a very, very simple logo um, it, to the point of it being useless to anybody. But what we have there is one solid disc with a stroked outline, and visually it's finished. But if I send that, if I save that quickly to. Uh, go example one, next one, and go over to my Sign Cut Pro 2, which is what I use to cut the vinyls, and then open uh, example one. We get the blue disc, but we've lost our purple edge. So to get around this, we need to separate these two guys out. But the problem is, by doing that, we lose one or the other. So if I go uh, to stroke to path, I keep the stroke, but I'm losing the information on the inside. So if I sent that to the cutter, you would, well, it would just replicate that. You'd lose the, the blue, but you'd have the purple. So let me go back one step with Control Z and get rid of the stroke outline. I could have probably found, oh, yeah, I'd have been better off just starting from scratch, which is what we're going to do. That's no problem though. I'm just going to hold uh, Control and drag out. A new circle let's just knock off that stroke okay so we've got we're back to the just the uh, the disc what we've got to do is hold control D to make a duplicate of that disc we'll give it a different color just so we can see see the two so you got the new one on top and the old one behind and uh, just recenter that and then we're gonna add our stroke back in so you can hit sh hold down shift and hit the purple so we've got our purple back in but now we've got two discs and a stroke let's just go back um, and then we're going to go path stroke to path and we're going to lose one of the discs now if it had left left it the original color once you start um, you get going with a bit more confidence you won't have to change the colors you'll know you'll know what what you're doing I'm just doing it to show you what the difference was We've now got a solid disk and our stroke. So if I send those to the, uh, ah, it's glitched. Let me just send these up. I'm just going to hold down shift, click on the stroke and the disk and align and distribute and center on vertical and center on horizontal. And then I want the blue on top. So I'm just going to 
raise selection to top and then we're going to just save over the top of that original file and then we can go back in and reopen it example one so now we've we've got the blue disc and the purple outline but of course it's all one one piece of information so if I go to cut that we can't cut two colors at the same time well at least not on my cutter and I would imagine yours as well but um, you can see there maybe just uh, yeah you can see there it's showing the information of where the cuts are going to be so you've got your inter internal cut for the stroke and the external cut for the stroke and then in the middle there you've got the blue disc so at this stage we still can't cut the um, cut the graphic so I'll just jump back into Inkscape and what we've got there and we just come off so we've got the two pieces now there's another problem if we save these two files which we'll do in a second. If I say, say if I say it as uh, we're calling this example one, so I could call it example one blue and example one purple. So that when we go into the cutter, I can open these two files and bring them back together. The cutter is going to cut this inter internal cut, and when you peel that vinyl out, you're going to left, be left with a ring, which you've then got to center this guy onto here manually which I showed you how to do in the other video but the problem is because it's vinyl and it, this is a, this is the digital version is is 2D and it's it's perfect and it's exists in the screen the vinyl version when you put these two guys together you are going to be left with a rim the other problem is when you peel this off to stick it onto something you're going to have potentially a weak spot as you peel this this edge off, it could separate off off the um, the vinyl blue disc. Uh, I mean, the, the circle's not too bad because it, it's a pretty um, straightforward, simple shape. If you are doing some, uh, say, some text, uh, especially like scroll text, which is intricate, and you you might not be able to peel it off in one go or you might be able to peel it off in one go but it's going to be very delicate the best way if you're stacking colors and on this is on a circle it's dead easy because there's only four nodes so i've just gone into um edit paths by nodes because we've already gone path stroke to path so it's now now a path delete these guys i'm going to hold down shift and just click on these four nodes delete and now we've got four, uh, sorry, we've got two solid disks. And what I tend to do when I'm doing any kind of um, sticker work, this isn't too bad because it's, it's two pieces that are really mind-blowingly easy to work with. What I always do is uh, Control D, select them both, Control D, and just chuck a good pair over to one side. And then this guy, you can um, just zoom back in, holding the control and scroll wheel on the mouse. I would cut it. File, new. Oh, I hate the white. I hate the white background. Document properties. I'm just going to go to checkerboard. I much prefer that. Uh, I'm going to paste that guy in there. Uh, 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 uh. We'll go far. Oh, hang on. Before we do that, before we do that, and just stack these guys up. I've missed a vital step, but it's okay. We can we can just jump back and do it now. <clears throat> when you split these vinyl um, like layers off if you like once you separate them you can't resize them if you resize one you have got to resize all the others and it's virtually impossible to do it accurately once you've left the original document so say if I want this to be um, I don't know 
let's have a look let's just lock the width and height say I want this to be 100 mil just I want the um, exterior to be 100 mil across let me just stack that up pop back on there just gonna hold shift on the second one center on vertical center on horizontal and then select the whole lot and the width I want to be no width want to be 100 that's now the the outer edge is a hundred mil wide so I've now separate those and just delete the original delete that okay back into there I'm going to select them both duplicate check those over there and we're back in business so I'm going to cut that Ooh, too many clicks I'm going to paste it into a new document because it's now resized at the correct size I'm going to go file save as uh, example one purple and then I'm going to go back into the original document I'm going to grab this guy I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to go file new I hate this white background document properties just get rid of that the only reason I don't like the white background is because if you're working with uh, a lot of the vinyl stickers I do are white so it's it's just impossible to work with a single color that's the same as a background um, and if you choose any other color if that color crops up in your design it disappears so the checkerboard just gives you a bit of contrast so I'll paste that guy in there then go file save as example one blue and then when you come over to your cutting software you when you open let's go to purple you have one image that's correctly sized I'll just go to millimeters it says 100.02 millimeters um, of course I've done it in purple that the machine will show it in purple but of course you can load your cutter it with any color you want it's just the original design I tend to try to keep to the original design and then if I want a new design a new color scheme I'll just duplicate it and change all the colors and set up new folders a new file uh, filing system so it's all neat and I can in three months time I can come back and jump straight back into just pick up where I left off and you don't have to sort of figure anything out or start from scratch so you would cut this guy um, and then you would load up your cutter with oh, find the right you would load up with blue now you may notice this is actually showing it is the same size on the screen so you think oh it's actually going to cut the same size but if you notice here it's actually dropped it to 93.5 sorry 93.05 mil so when you cut these two guys out and when you bring them together it will look like uh, it will look like the original um, design provided you can match them up if you use the other video the technique I use in the other video you can get it very very accurate and that's it I hope that helps um, a lot of people that that technique I use in, in, in pretty much all my um, stickers so it's just it's made my life loads easier I'm hoping this helps um, for everybody who watches this video if it did help you out leave um, a message in the comments and uh, don't forget to subscribe Thanks very much. See you in the next one.